Hey guys, it's Jesse from freehotwater.au and elitewater.au and today's video is going to be a full comparison of the top seven single unit heat pumps that are available in Australia. So you may have seen my previous video comparing the top 13 top heat pumps. This one will be a similar video, but it'll be focused on single unit systems. In one of my earlier videos, I mentioned that single unit systems were usually not the go, that you should usually go for a split system because they are much more efficient. I've slightly changed that view, mainly because single unit systems are getting way more efficient, some of them. So some of the ones that um, appear in this list, and I wouldn't even say all of them. <coughs> but Emerald's uh, 270 and 220 liter systems are actually very, very good. And they even appeared in the top 13 heat pump systems because they're so efficient. So they appeared, these single unit systems appeared in the top 13 uh, comparing over 250 heat pumps in Australia. And they appeared um, in the top, uh, I forget the exact ranking, but I think it may have been uh, even top six or top seven, um, even though they were single unit systems. And that's just to say how far single unit systems have come. So we're just gonna jump into the video. Uh, it's very similar to before, looking at the VEU uh, registry where government engineers have ranked every heat pump according to their predicted energy savings. And uh, I've just gone ahead and taken out all of the split systems. So we have single unit systems. So you might wanna go for a single unit system if you are looking for a system that takes up less space, is more aesthetically pleasing, and in the case of Emerald's uh, system, I believe you're not actually, there's not actually a massive trade-off between a single unit and a split. So we're just gonna jump into it. Quantum's 270-08A S6-290. It really rolls off the tongue. It's ranked at number seven on our list. So Quantum is actually Australia's first manufacturer of heat pump hot water systems. They started, let's make my screen a bit bigger so you can see me. Okay, so Quantum is actually Australia's first manufacturer of heat pump hot water systems. The University of Melbourne about 30 years ago designed and created the idea of heat pump hot water systems. Um, and Quantum was the first company to come out and produce them. So we have a 270 liter tank capacity, steel casing with vitreous enamel lining, 3.57 COP and 72% annual energy savings. It runs from negative 10 to 35 degrees Celsius and the warranty is five years on the tank and two years on the electrics and the compressor. So despite the premium price you'd be paying for this system, the warranty is actually not anything to write home about. It's not a very good warranty. Usually you would want to get at least five years on the compressor and indeed everything else that we show in this list that's not quantum comes with a better warranty on the compressor. All of the systems here, interestingly, use propane. It appears that propane is a very, very good refrigerant to use, not just in terms of efficiency, but also in terms of the GWP, which is the global warming potential. So interesting about propane is that the one year GWP is three to four, which means it's actually more than CO2. But if you take it over a 20 year time horizon or a hundred year time horizon, Propane breaks down very, very quickly. So it's got a 100 year GWP of 0.02, which is significantly lower than CO2. And I was able to be quoted for 3,700 supplied and installed uh, in New South Wales and 3,950 in Victoria. And these are both after rebates. So it's quite an expensive system. This is Quantum's other system. It appears to have the exact same performance and everything else is the same. It just has a different aesthetic. So instead of the compressor being slightly on the side, uh, now it's just on top. So this is Emerald Energy's commercial 220 liter unit. Now the commercial units have lower performance than the, this is actually the most efficient unit, but the commercial unit has lower performance because commercial applications, they require more hot water. So, and usually at high temperatures too. So the refrigerant, uh, so the compressor is just running a little bit harder here. You have a tank capacity of 220 liters, vitreous enamel tank. You have a COP of 3.610 and an annual energy saving of 72.3%. You're running from negative seven to 40 degrees Celsius and you're getting 
five years on the entire system with two years labor. So Emerald has, was started in 2006, meaning it has been around for over 17 years. So one of the cool things about Emerald systems and one of the things that makes them so efficient is they come with a DC inverter. And a cool feature they have as well is they have Wi-Fi. So I've had a look at what this can do and you can set the temperature, you can look at the uh, energy usage and there are even automations I believe that you can use. So it is quite a cool feature, but again, it's hot water. Most people don't really care about their hot water. They just want to set it and forget it. So if that's something you want, it, Emerald does uh, provide that. So for commercial applications, we can actually install these units completely free. This means it has to be at a commercial address, but if you're located in New South Wales or Victoria, most likely we can do this for free. So just visit freehotwater.au and fill out an inquiry form and we'll be in touch straight away. Uh, the next system we have here is a Renai EHPS 265VM, track number four on the list. And I was actually quite impressed from Renai. Uh, this is actually the first, like a major brand that we've seen. Um, like a major hot water brand with a decent system. So the tank capacity is 265 liters with a vitreous enamel tank. You get 3.73 COP and 73.2% annual energy savings. One of the issues here is you only get negative one degrees as your minimum operating temperature. Such a high minimum operating temperature makes this unit quite unsuitable for parts of Australia that drop below zero degrees frequently. Even Canberra often drops below zero degrees quite a lot, meaning this system might not be suitable for you. Although if you're located in Sydney or, or pretty much any major uh, metropolitan area, you'll be fine. The warranty, you get seven years on the cylinder with three years labor, but you only get three years on the compressor and one year's uh, labor there. So that's, that's one of the issues in my mind when you're looking at warranty. Emerald, which is a much newer company, come with a much better warranty on the compressor, which is, let's be honest, that's the part that's gonna break down first. The compressor is the moving, has all the moving pieces, and that's what's heating up your hot water. Your tank is inert, your tank is just sitting there. So your tank's not gonna break down, it's, it's gonna be your compressor. Um, so you really want to maximize your warranty on the compressor. So I would compare these two warranties, even though Emerald has a lower um, warranty on the tank, the overall warranty is better. I was quoted 3,300 after FTCs in New South Wales and Victoria. All right, so this is an Ecogenica 260, rank number three. We have 260 liters, it's vitreous enamel. We have a COP of 3.876 and annual en energy savings of 74.2. The operating temperature is negative 15 to 45 degrees Celsius and the warranty is seven years on the tank, five on the compressor and two years of labor. Also comes with R290. So from January, 2023, we're able to provide this for $800 in New South Wales and from $1,800 in Victoria. You can visit freehotwater.au to inquire now. This is Emerald's 270 liter unit. It is actually more efficient than their commercial 220 liter unit. It comes with a COP of 4.065 for the standard model and 3.984 for the uh, electric model, which doesn't come with the electric booster. That's supposed to say. The reason I think this happened is because in the test, they must have activated the booster for some reason, but Emerald's electric booster doesn't actually turn on until it reaches below negative seven degrees or you manually turn it on. Otherwise, the electric booster actually doesn't even switch on, meaning the efficiency is gonna be pretty much the same. So you can see there's not a real big difference between the efficiencies between the units. Um, but all the other features are exactly the same as the Emerald we showed before. And we're able to install this for you too. So from January 2023, we can install this from $2,500 in New South Wales and from $1,800 in Victoria. You can visit freehotwater.au to inquire now. Um, this model comes with 270 liters, so it's more suitable for larger households. 
I would say up to six people. Then the 220, which is sort of limited in size, I would say that's more suitable for three, maximum four people. But this is the most efficient unit, the most efficient same unit system. So you can see we have a really impressive COP of 4.464 and annual energy savings of 77.6, which is quite incredible for a single unit system. And we can obviously install this for you too. Just visit freeholdwater.au and fill out an inquiry form and we'll be in touch straight away. Guys, thank you for watching the video. It's, uh, I hope it's been a useful recap of the most efficient systems as determined by Victorian government engineers uh, available in Australia. Let me know in the comments below if you want another video and thank you for watching. Bye.